Hey guys, Brian Hilliard here, author of the best-selling book, Networking Like a Pro, and creator of the popular program, How to Find and Win Paid and Free Speaking Engagements. I gotta tell you, I'm a little fired up here. As you can tell, I am outside enjoying a little bit of weather. Uh, just got back from a WALK with the DOGs and probably play a little bit of basketball later on today. It is just a beautiful, beautiful day. I love living in the Southeast. Now, I wanna talk to you guys about something that came to me um, and really can help you if you're a speaker. So if you are doing podcast interviews, if you are going out there and just kind of using your voice to get the word out there, uh, specifically with podcast interviews, or even if you're going out and doing like virtual presentations or things like that, I think you're going to find this to be really, really helpful. Because one of the biggest problems, um, at least that I face, and maybe you do too, is the fact that you go out, you do an interview, and there's just not as much of a return on investment sometimes that you can see. Yes, you're getting out there. Yes, it's important to get exposure, but like how is it that I can turn that into a return on investment with my with my business, right? And that's a whole separate discussion, but I wanna talk about a step that you can take, which is what we're gonna cover here today, um, to be more successful, which is think about your interview as a solution for a would-be problem, okay? So think about your interview as a solution for a would-be problem. A different way to ask this question and to make this point is, if my interview was a product, what problem would it be solving for my listening audience? All right, so it's a diff just a different way to think of it. If my interview was a product, what problem would it solve for my would-be audience? Because here's what happens a lot, and we get into this during our, I've actually got a speaker's mastermind. Um, if you are a speaker that does podcast interviews, virtual presentations, or even just goes out and do some physical ones, you know, on a quasi-regular basis, and you're looking for some ways to better monetize those activities, you're more than welcome to come to the group as my guest. We can talk about that a little bit later on. The point I wanna make here, though, is real simple. A lot of times we go out and we will go out and we'll do our speaking, right? We'll go do our speaking and what happens? We'll do an interview and we'll be like, oh, we'll just go out, we'll have a good time, we'll you know, be energetic, know our stuff, and we'll go from there. And that is fine, like that's a good start. But part of it too is you wanna actually think of it a little bit differently. What problem am I solving for these people? What problem am I solving? Because here's the thing, People who are listening and are gonna actually take out their checkbook, so that's what we're talking about here. People who are listening and are gonna actually take out their checkbook, they need to understand and they need to feel like at the end of that conversation, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever the interview is, that you solved the problem. Because here's the thought that you want them to think. Boy, you know what? That was a really good conversation and you know she solved that problem right there. And to be honest with you, I have something similar. Let me at least look her up and follow her or let me at least look her up and maybe send her an email or let me look her up and, and do a download or let me look her up and and do whatever now interviewing by definition is not going to be able to it's going to be a little bit more of a you know step process than say speaking when i go out and speak i speak people hear me i have some tools that ena enable them to connect with me and that's how i get business from speaking podcasting is a little bit different but the premise is the same it starts off by them thinking to themselves boy you know what this person really solve this problem and therefore I need to contact them later on okay whether it's social media email newsletter download whatever the case may be all right now how do you get them to that point where they solve a problem you have to go in there with a plan because they're gonna be asking you questions right so you can't just be doing a 30 minute presentation so what you want to be doing is setting it up initially and being like listen <coughs> excuse me Here's one of the things, you know, thanks for having me, uh, John, really appreciate it. You know, one of the problems that a lot of my clients talk about is X. You see how I did that? That's not a heavy lift. Hey, John, thanks so much for having me on here. You know, I'm really looking forward to it because I gotta be honest with you, one of the problems that my clients talk about all the time is X. And what I tell them and what I'm gonna talk with your audience about here today is what they can do to be able to get around that. You know, there's a few things that I like to talk about. One of them is, boom, you see how I just got right into my offense? I just got right into my offense, just doing that, okay, from some simple words to be able to move people forward. So take that in mind as you're going out and doing some interviews, take that in mind as you're going out and doing uh, speaking, maybe you're doing some virtuals and things like that. That will absolutely help you be more successful as you're going out and getting business. And speaking of being more successful, I mentioned this earlier, our speakers mastermind, you are more than welcome to come as my guest. So the way it works is we have a 90 minute virtual meeting, all right, and we do the first few minutes, the first section is going around the 
the room talking about who we are, what we're all about, the topic, things like that. Then we do a little education. So I'll usually do some education on speaking or what it is in terms of doing interviews on podcasts, things like that. Then we have our open forum where you guys as the audience will get a chance to talk and weigh in and what it meant to you and what it resonated. It's a really good section. At that point, then we do some one-on-one -on -one networking. We put you into a virtual one-on-one uh, -on -one networking group, usually about eight to 10 minutes. Then we come back, we do our mastermind. This is also a really, really great section where one, sometimes two people, will come and be like, hey, listen, I've got this issue, this challenge, this problem. What do you as the group think is going on? Right. Then we come back and we then go right back around the room again where people are able to ask and acknowledge, hey, what resonated with you? What didn't? How did you like it? And you are done. So if that sounds like something that you might find of interest, again, if you do some speaking, if you're going out on interviews, if you're looking to maybe generate more revenue from your public speaking, or like I said, if you're actually interviews and things like that on podcasts, more than welcome to come as my guest. Drop me a line, drop me a comment, and I can certainly get you hooked up. All right. But regardless, hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully it's something that you can see yourself doing. In the meantime, my name is Brian Hilliard saying so long, take care, and thanks so much for your time.